Hello everyone and welcome to my cozy autumn world and this relaxing long play with commentary. Today we're going to be creating a cozy mining cottage above an area where we found a bunch of deep slate diamonds and we're going to use this cottage as kind of our base camp to set up a little area so we can come back and strip mine for diamonds and other ores as we need it. So sit back, get cozy, and enjoy some cozy building and commentary. Now, there is something that I do need to catch you guys up on. I wanted this world to be one where the entire time it's just meant for these long plays, you get to see everything that happens as it gets built up. However, there is a new building that has popped up since I was last making a long play in this world, and it is our cozy fishing hut. Now, I unfortunately also... Uh, had made an entire three hour long, long play making this, exploring. We actually were also able to uh, enchant our tools. So we were able to get a bunch of diamond tools made and I even upgraded them and got them enchanted. We have a silk touch shovel. We've got an efficiency five on breaking three pickaxe, a fortune three pickaxe, an efficiency and fortune hoe and a silk touch ax. But this there was no video for this because my external hard drive decided to die and i had saved the long play to that thing right before i was about to upload it so i lost the three hour long play and a bunch of other stuff so i wanted to just show off this little fishing hut that we made we've got our barrels ready to do some fishing and on the inside i just made it super cute and cozy in here We've got a bunch of furnaces. We've got a bunch of barrows so that we can store all the things that we would find while we're fishing. We've got a few different paintings. We've got some potted plants. We've got a little uh, like planter box here as well and some furnaces and some lights in here. And then through this door was the bedroom that we had made. We ended up going to an ancient city and grabbing these candles from there because I needed XP and I didn't have a solid source or way to get XP and so I had somebody comment on one of my other long plays and mention that I should go to an ancient city to grab those XP little orbs so Hegwig Heavenly was the one that mentioned that and I thought it was honestly such a good idea and so we we even went to an ancient city and explored that because we were in peaceful we didn't have the warden to like mess with us it didn't even spawn i was just like breaking them i was careless and uh no warden spawn in peaceful so it was great but we were able to get the candles and get the xp to level up all of our tools so i think i like the idea of using maybe the ancient city at least for now to grab some quick xp so we'll probably go there whenever we need new tools and additional enchants and stuff but when we came back from the ancient city, we placed these candles, we made this little cozy house, this was our bedroom with the paintings and the little potted plants and more storage. But we made this and I, I really like how it turned out, I'm really happy with it. I just wish that I could have actually uh, shown you guys the progress of building this place, but it's really cozy and I'm very proud of it. I think it looks really nice in our area. Um, I did uh, forget to finish, you know, cutting down this mushroom but it's fine i just needed space but i thought this was so cute and it's right on the edge of our riverway which is fun so we can come boating here set our boat down here and then walk our way up to our area that we have currently but today we are going to go over to where we have all of those diamonds we're gonna go collect the diamonds and set up our little base camp to start our little mining cottage outpost but first, I did want to spend a little bit of time doing some relaxing fishing together. So we're going to go back to our little base area over here and we're going to collect up the supplies we'll need to make a fishing rod. I, I feel like I have everything that we'll need. Um, I don't know if I've actually seen spiders, to be fair, but I think I've gotten string from other things. But it could be wrong. Maybe we can't make one. I kind of want to try to make one. Yeah, 
We can't even make a fishing rod right now. Oh, but I was able to find the silence armor trim, which is super cool. We found an enchanted golden apple while we were down there. We found some of these mending pants and of course some amethyst shards. And we found like a ton of candles. I just went crazy collecting up all the candles while we were down there because I was just so excited. But I think those are the only like really exciting things that I found there. I was most excited about the silence trim just because I've never seen one because I'm frankly in my uh, survival series, I'm too scared to go into the ancient cities. But I thought this was so fun that we got a golden apple that's enchanted and a armor template. So super fun stuff. I think we also found this disc in there but we did come across a, a spawner at some point and i think that's where this came from but we were able to find bones inside one of those spawners as well which allowed us to get a secondary dog so now we have two little friends but i don't actually think i have string um we're gonna go check just in case i put some you know storage over here in our enchanting area because i did kind of say i mentioned using some of these barrels in the middle for some like storage easy access to things but i don't oh i did i'm so glad i checked yay okay so now we can make a little fishing rod let's just go like so like so <gasps> yay okay i am so excited we're gonna do some fishing buy our new little fishing dock to start this little coziness off and then uh, i'm i'm curious what other things we're gonna get in our little fishing hut but we're just gonna take a nap so we have a nice sunset or excuse me sunrise i always can confuse them when i'm talking like sunrise sunset but it's like it should be easy you know like the sun rises and it means that the sun's coming up because it's rising but I always end up confusing them somehow, and I, I don't know how I do it, but I, I end up doing it. So we can uh, just ignore that. But let's do some fishing. I'm curious if we can find any really good enchants, but let's just uh, do a little bit of fishing for a bit here in our little fishing outpost and yeah we can just sit here and chat for a bit i know you can get like name tags and like books and things from this mostly it's just fish though so we're just going to sit here for a bit and do some chatting and then we'll get to see what items that we get i'm hoping we'll get a name tag i'd love it if we could get some like mending books because i know you can get like books right I'd also love it if we could get like a bow or maybe a better fishing rod that's like enchanted. That would be amazing. But I did want to mention this uh, little cape that I'm wearing is actually a cape that if you voted in the... Oh, this poor squid. Um, dude, you're not supposed to just, you know, hang... Oh, a bone. Uh, you can't just go on the sand, dude. Oh, that's unfortunate. But this cape is, if you voted in the 2023 mob vote, you were able to get this cape. So if you're in your launcher under the skins tab, just edit the skin that you want to apply it to. And then you can select the feature to uh, apply it to. But I'm curious, what mob did you guys vote for between the armadillo, the penguin, and the crab? I, I honestly thought they all looked really cute, and so I didn't really care which one got in, but I did decide to vote for the armadillo just because I thought our savannah biomes could really use some love and some new life walking around, and I thought the shells looked really cute. And of course, you know, wool farmer would be great. I'm very curious to find out what the armor will actually do for us because if it's going to allow us to like dye the armor like we can for horse armor i am like so excited for that idea but i don't know if it's gonna be it's not leather so you can't really like use that in the same way also it's so interesting when i have oh i got the fishy business thing nice when i have this uh fishing rod in my offhand and then i like remove my hot bar it still has the the fishing line there it just removes the stick <laughs> so it just looks like a floating a floating little string line which is kind of funny but i uh 
yeah, I thought that the armadillo was really cute, but honestly, I would have been fine with any of them. But I did want to say, fun fact, in the Minecraft Live event for the 2023, like, mob mode and everything, in the community pre-show, I actually got to be featured in it for one of their segments. So if you are curious to see my little featured in official Minecraft Live, I'll uh, link that below if you care to, like, watch that. But I was very honored that they chose a segment of one of my uh, 1.20 like let's play videos to be featured in it. It was me just like discovering a sniffer for the first time and I was super excited in the video and so they wanted to use that. But I this cape will kind of remind me of that little moment and so I think it's kind of fun. I don't know if I'm gonna always wear the cape because it doesn't really fit the like green vibe that I got going on with this skin. It's like a little bit of a contrast, but I think it's super cute. So I figured I'd, I'd wear it for today. I like the little petals featured on it too. It's very cute. And this would be so adorable as like actual wings too. Like that would be so cute. Like elytra wings, I would love that. But I just figured we'd do a little bit of fishing and see what we can find. So far, these are the items that we've been able to find. So nothing like too crazy or revolutionary, but we're finding some things, you know? Hopefully, we'll be able to find ourselves a little bit of a, a better fishing rod as we're doing this. But who knows? You know, it's trial and error. But yeah, I am curious which mob that you voted for, if you even cared to. I know some people just didn't really care to vote this year because they were fine with any of them or they were hoping all three of them were added. So they didn't want to vote for just like one. But I'm curious what you guys decided to vote for. And yeah we just get to enjoy some relaxing fishing to start it off we'll just stay here for a little bit longer i'm just hoping i can get something more than fish if we end on getting like a name tag or a saddle or like a better fishing rod or like bow i will be very content with that but i just thought it would be kind of nice you know we can just hang out together do some chatting do some fishing off our cozy little dock Especially since, you know, uh, you guys didn't really get to see this built. I thought it would be kind of nice if you could, like, see it for a little bit, you know. See the area, the cozy little vibes that we got. We've got a little jack-o'-lantern because it was Halloween recently. But I just love this area. It's very wide open riverway, so it's super easy for us to just, like, come right in here, boat. I'll probably add, maybe on this side... We'll add a little bit of a dock so we can actually like have a more proper place to dock our boat. Or we could just put it where on the right that drip, that little like drip leaf is. That could also be a good spot. But I just want to have a place where I can like legit just like set my boat up whenever I'm going to like be boating around our area. Ooh, some leather. Nice. And I think it would be great, but... I do have to probably reposition where these lily pads are because you do end up uh, accidentally running into them with a boat and then just picking them up. And you, yeah, I don't want to keep picking them up if I'm trying to like make a little boating area. So I'll probably move those a little bit. But I feel like there's always room to kind of like shift things around. I also have a nice warm cup of coffee next to me, except I kind of made like a home homemade like whipped cream to like put on top of my coffee and I just added like vanilla some like raw sugar and the the whip the heavy whipped cream that you can like blend together with like a little mixer thing and you can make some whipped cream so I have that on my coffee so hopefully if you're enjoying this long play whether you're working on stuff or studying uh or just having this on to keep you company hopefully you have some cozy things around you some cozy drinks or snacks or something and yeah we just get to vibe together so you'll hear me or hopefully not hear me but you'll you'll know that I'm taking a few sips of my coffee every so often as we're kind of hanging out together today just because I have a bad habit of uh <laughs> I will get a large cup of coffee and then just like have like a very few amount of sips and then it ends up just like going cold because I forget about it because I just get so focused on like Minecraft or like doing something on my computer or just around my house that I just you know forget about it and then I have cold coffee so since my coffee cup is supposed to be a warm cup of coffee I will be taking sips of it as we go and just enjoying that coziness together
another thing that I wanted to ask you guys for any of your input and thoughts. So this is our autumn world and I'm going to be running this autumn long play while it is fall season. Now we're in November when this is being published so I have one more month of being in this autumn world and then I'm thinking of starting a winter series and I've already found a bunch of super cozy mod packs for it. Well, my voice got weird for it <laughs> but oh yay we get rainy fishing this is the best kind of fishing but i am curious if you guys would want me to continue in this same world making the long plays just like making it like christmasy once we get to like december january and february or if you would like me to kind of restart or if you'd like to see me maybe do this in survival i feel like doing it in survival could make it more interesting because then i actually need to be like aware of like mobs and things or if you enjoy this being set in peaceful and you want me to continue making long plays in this world or if you like uh, kind of like a reset every time you know so also how do we get a tropical fish in a riverbed <laughs> Sometimes the things you find in the water is silly. But yeah, let me know if you have a preference on keeping this autumn world and just starting the the winter world on top of this, like continuing builds in here. I'm curious if you have opinions, because I feel like a lot of times people will watch these long plays as like a one-off thing. And so it doesn't really matter what I do it in. But if you have thoughts on that, feel free to comment below what you think. I think right now, because it's raining, I'm just going to be be quiet for a bit and just listen to the sounds of the rain, and we just get to enjoy that together. So I'm going to just focus on fishing, and I'll remove my hot bar, and we can just enjoy the scenery as it's rainy and just have some ambient noise while I pick up some fishies. So let's just enjoy the rainy, relaxing, fishing little section here. And I'm going to take sips of my coffee while we just enjoy some rainy fishing for a bit, and then we'll get started with part of our day.
Thank you. 
just like that, the rain has left and it's a beautiful sunny day. Well, we almost ended up breaking our fishing rod. We're pretty close to being done with it, but we're gonna just uh, grab this last fish and then we're going to start moving on with getting our projects done for today. Now let's see all of our loot. We're gonna put it all in here. We'll put our very broken fishing rod in here too. But we've got some water bottles. We've got Nautilus shell. We've got these leather boots. We've got a bunch of fish, so we're good on that. We can make water breathing potions and some lily pads. So let's uh let's add some more lily pads around our area. I never really showed you guys the sides and the back of this area. Also, for those of you who this mushroom is just bothering because it's uh half torn down, I I'm I I fix I fix right now, and then it won't it won't bother you because it was um uh, it was bothering me. I just hadn't done anything about it yet. But I did plan to uh, get rid of it. I just forgot. But I'm going to get my tools back in their order. Now let's put some of these lily pads in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually go over to where we got the diamonds uh, that we found in the deep slate levels. And right around that area where we found those diamonds is where we're going to set up the little mining outpost cottage. Now, we're going to use our fortune pick to go and get those diamonds because even though we don't need armor because we're in peaceful, I still would love to be able to use that armor trim that we got since this is in 1.20 we have the armor trims now so we're gonna go and kind of just like grab the diamonds and do a little bit of strip mining to collect some materials but then we're gonna start collecting everything we'll need for the build so that we can have our mining outpost set up i also would really love to create kind of like a a water elevator or a way to get around so I think we might have to go to the nether but that's not exactly something that's like cozy by any means I think I've mentioned this before in this world but like the nether just isn't cozy but it might be different if we're in peaceful so we'll see about that but I might uh, go visit the nether like off camera since uh, <laughs> a trip to the nether isn't exactly uh, cozy I also love this like colored texture pack. It just mutes the vibrant green in the like plants and flowers and gives it more of like a muted green and I really love it. Very happy with that one. But let's uh let's go and find where we have a little torch set up cuz that's where we know we have our little mining area. It's like in between these birch trees, I know. It's kind of like on the edge of the birch and the oak. So we're going to f just, you know, spend some time finding it. Oh, I think it's by this ravine actually, or it's near the ravine. I think it's over here. We're just gonna plop our way down. So we're just gonna run down this little hill, but this is gonna be the area that we're gonna be building in. So you kind of can know, here we go. This is our torch, but you can know that this is gonna be the setting. So if I go into free cam, this is the area that we're gonna be building our little mining outpost in. So it's gonna have lots of pretty birch trees around it, lots of the red oak, and I think it'll be a really nice little area. We'll probably build it like right up in this spot right here since it's already pretty flat. I feel like that's a really good little place. And then we'll get a nice little hillside of trees behind it. But we want to gather up all of those diamonds we had found first. So let's do that. And you can tell that I was uh, using all manner of blocks to bridge around this area. So it's kind of funny. But we have shears now, so it'll make it a little bit easier. And our shaders will adjust for us. Oh, he just died on that. RIP that little guy. And we're gonna jump. Now I do wanna collect glow ink. So I'm gonna go and grab that. Oh no, there's like two of them. This is like, <laughs> oh my gosh, there's three. This is like a glow ink, like a farm almost. Goodness me. 
I just got 10 glow ink just from following that. That's wild. Oh my goodness. Poor little dudes. And then we had also found a mine shaft before, so there's like probably a bunch of cool things we can make in here. But one thing that I thought would be super cool to do is use the minecart rails and kind of make a bunch of different layers for our mining area based on using some like minecart rails and kind of create like layers spiraling our way down. So like on our copper level, our iron level, our redstone lapis and diamond level like all of those i want to create layers because i've seen some people do it where they have like little mining like stop offs with their like minecart system and i feel like honestly if we're able to do the minecart system that would be a lot more fun and it also doesn't require the nether so also very nice but i know we had our diamonds somewhere amongst all this dripstone here this is where we made our staircase, so we just get to bonk our little head and go all the way down. It's fine. Yep, just bonk our little noggin a bunch. I need to fix this. Well, let's just fix this now, except I'm going to use this other one, and we're just going to fix this. I don't want to have my head being bonked the whole way up. Also, if we're going to be creating, like, little stop off sections for the different mining layers we definitely are going to add stairs to this okay oh i left some stuff here before nice okay cool didn't leave anything in there i think the diamonds here they are okay so this is our fortune pickaxe so we've got one two three four and five so there's five of them right so that's what we are looking at is five so i'm gonna fill up my inventory and in the comments guess how many diamonds we'll get with fortune three out of five diamond ores so i'm gonna guess uh we'll probably get i think eight my guess is eight so let's just do this real quick and then we collect them oh we got oh we got 10. Look at that. I did not expect 10. Ooh, that's amazing. Okay. And if I remember correctly, I think we kept mining down here or did we just stop? Because I thought we kept going maybe. No, it looks like we just stopped here. Okay. Perfect. Well, I mean, I'll be happy with that many. And we are on the right level. So this is kind of like our area where if we want to start a strip mine, like we could just do some tunneling down here. And this is where we're going to set up our different like strip mine layers and all of that. And we do need to find a bunch of redstone and we need to find gold to make powered rails. So I do need a bunch of deep slate for the roof for today. So we'll just spend a little bit of time, you know, exploring, seeing if we can find any more diamonds, collecting up some other materials. But I need torches very badly if I'm going to keep doing this. Okay, so this is our level that we're going to mine out. And I'm going to move my fortune pick to the other side so I know the fortune pick is separated out a little bit more. And yeah, we're on 56. So usually uh, for deep slate and like finding diamonds, 56 is pretty good because then you can see 56, you can see 57, 55. And if you want to go up a little bit higher, then you can see 54. But usually staying on 55 or 54 is good for, for mining around. But then we're just able to kind of just like do some little holes, just poke around to see if we can find anything and i always will do like an every other type of a thing just every other and then we go this way if you also break the top block before you break the bottom block if lava happens to be above it you can see the lava and then you're able to break it and you're not just like mining kind of like above you in a sense which is helpful then you don't end up getting lava on you because you can see or if there's water you know like anything that you really don't want to land on your head like gravel or anything so whenever i'm doing strip mines i always break this top block and do that 
until I can't reach anymore and then come through with the bottom one after that. And I just find it works really well for me just so I don't have to deal with anything dropping on my head or surprising me or getting burned or anything like that by some lavas coming through. But I just find it, yeah, a little bit of a helpful trick for strip mining. But I think that just strip mining is a very, like, relaxing task. I find it just something where you can kind of just turn your brain off, you know? You can just enjoy listening to some music, whatnot. Like, I never really get tired of it. But sometimes it feels, like, lonely, right? So I feel like having, like, a long play on while you're doing some strip mining, like, while you're doing some Minecraft grindy things, like, a long play is perfect for this type of thing. Because you have someone to chat, well... You get to listen to me talking to myself. I was going to say, you can't really, like, talk to me. You know, you can't interrupt me in my little long play. So, hee hee. You can't interrupt me. I just get to talk. Oh, gosh. Oh, I don't like those, like, mineshaft noises. They're always so spoopy. So spooky. Okay. So, we got enough of Deep Slate for what I need today. We definitely got more than I actually need. So we're just going to leave some of our stuff down here for now. I'm going to leave some wood just in case I need it later on and I just like forget. Um, or we could just go and grab it from that little mine shaft. But we've got 10 diamonds. We've got some redstone. Now we're going to go up and we've got our little staircase kind of uh, better made. It's still not perfect because we have to jump our way. It's not stairs, but it's better than what we had. So I will take it. And we're just going to like mine our way up here and fix all of the, uh, the head bonking portions of this whole experience. Just remove it all. We don't need to bonk our little noggin. Okay. Perfect. Cool. So I'm looking to see if there's any... Yeah, we'll get more redstone. Definitely want to collect redstone because if we're going to be setting up some minecart rails along the way we will need it but let's just do some peeking is there anything through here or is it literally just oh it kind of goes through that's good to know so we can go like so oh it comes to the mine shaft over here how exciting oh well i don't want the water though that's not as exciting <laughs> there we go okay um i just don't want it hello okay wow look at that we've got the mine shaft amazing it's really interesting like exploring mine shafts when you don't need to worry about like creepers or anything we will take more lapis that's redstone so that's perfect but i really enjoy not needing to stress about the mine shafts while we're down here it's great because we can just pick up everything and not really worry you know like there's not cave spiders i've seen some cave spider spawners but like because we don't register as something like hostile the spawners actually don't spawn them so if i wanted to get like zombie flesh or something i would have to find it in one of the chests in a dungeon so it's very different but I kind of like it. It's a different way of doing it. Okay. And let's check over here quick. Ooh. Okay, here's other parts of it. We're just checking. Yes, we wanted some gold. So we'll grab, oh, literally one piece. Okay. But we're just going to grab some ores with us. I would love to be able to get like a solid piece of iron and some like solid blocks to just kind of like show off that like our little mining outpost is very successful. Also, does this like glint of the blue in copper sometimes fool you into thinking you're finding diamonds? Just for like a split second, cause like the color is different, but it gets me every once in a while and I'll get so excited that I found diamonds and then it's not diamonds and I'm then sad. Glow lichen is the same way. Like between glow lichen <laughs> and like the little flashes of like a different copper color, it, I I get bamboozled. I get fooled regularly. But having our little iron pick is super helpful. 
I just don't want to get lost. Like, me... Oh, yes. Okay, we need gold. Me getting lost on this adventure is, like, not what I'm going for. I want to build something cozy instead of spending <laughs> this whole long play just, like, trying to get out of a cave. That would be so sad. Just... Here we are. <laughs> lost in a cave. It's like one of those, like, you may have wondered how I got here <laughs> type of videos, you know? I thought that was some, like, cobble to get us in between things um let's see can i like jump up here oh here we go this is how we get back up but i just want to make sure i can actually like hop up here perfect hello my like instinct is to remove these pillars because usually i'm trying to defend against creepers and they will definitely be sneaky and come up in between those things but because we're in peaceful I don't need to worry about that. So we've got 11 gold, 40 raw iron. I'm still so happy we found 10 whole diamonds off of five. So we doubled that one, which is honestly great. Like, such a win. Oh, hey, there's a spawner here. See, this is what I mean. So this isn't really like lit up at all, but we're not like spawning anything because of us not being hostile, right? Like we're not something for them to get upset at so they don't spawn anything but let's take a look see this is how i can get zombie flashes from in here we'll take the string though for sure and the bones and saddles i also feel like that would be good to take just so we have some of those um i don't really need squid ink so maybe we'll prioritize that and let's see a fence gate i don't really need a fence gate and I don't have enough, I don't have horses yet, so I'm just going to write down the cords to this one. And then I'm going to put a torch here so that I remember, like, I've checked these chests, right? And then if I go like so, I'll remember that I've, like, looked in here. But we can get some horse armor if we come back, which would be fun. <gasps> oh, I don't like those cave sounds. They are always so scary. Man, oh man. That is like the one thing about uh, looking in caves that absolutely spooks me is just hearing that noise every once in a while. <gasps> oh, there's a geode here. Oh, this is so pretty. I feel like we have to include pieces from this now. My oh my. Too many good things. Let's make a crafting table and let's quickly make some blocks. Whenever my inventory starts to get too full, I always start making the blocks and we'll do some redstone blocks and I don't want to have like a bunch of other random things so let's just get rid of these things I don't need those we'll get rid of the slabs I need to like fill my inventory with other things so that I don't end up like picking up the random blocks that I don't want but now let's make our way down into this little geode. Oh, the geodes are so pretty to me. I love, I think like the 1.19 update was definitely one of my favorites because you got geodes. Or was geodes in 1.18? Do you guys remember? I feel like it was a 1.18 thing and I'm just forgetting. But we're definitely taking some calcite because we why not right we're here we might as well grab some and we'll grab some of these little crystals and go like so i just want to break the blooms right that's the the part we don't want now i have silk touch on this axe i'm wondering if i can break these oh i can pick this up interesting okay well, I kind of want the solid little crystals more. I like that I can pick these up, not gonna lie. Oops, I can let go. Okay. Wow, look at that. Oh, look at a small amethyst, a medium amethyst. Oh, I love that. And then we can get the large amethysts. I feel like this is just like a very fitting little like thing to add into our mining outpost now that we've found a geode 
Okay, um, slip touch shovel. Honestly, I'm gonna get rid of my iron pickaxe. I feel like I don't really need to have that anymore. I've got my diamonds and I've got 10 diamonds. I think I also want to look up what part of the armor the silence trim would look best on because I definitely like the idea of using some of our like armor to be decorative since we don't need it in this world but using it somewhere else would be kind of fun okay let's grab all these amethyst we'll use these as kind of like little decorative blocks to like put around our stuff i think it oh i don't need the dripstone i don't need that either it's funny how like you'll just notice all of a sudden you have like random things in your inventory and you're like i didn't need any of this I'm gonna take a screenshot of this area. Okay. And we make our way up again. Did I get rid of my torches or did I just not have any? From after being up here. Oh, they were up here. Okay, there's where they went. Let's take our torches. We actually want the torches. <laughs> the torches are the helpful thing. And then we need to pick up our crafting table. There we go. Okay. So we're getting some gold, which is great. We're also getting some redstone, also great. We'll probably just like peek around here a little bit. And then we're going to get going. It's always fun when you find my little mine shaft. They're very fun to find. At least I enjoy finding them. And we'll grab some more of the iron. Because if I want to make like an anvil to be decorative or anything like that, we'll definitely need it. And then let's use our crafting table. We'll make up some solid blocks of iron. And then redstone. We've got nine. I think what I want to do is... Oh, this bone can move and then we have enough. Okay, perfect. So this area needs a little staircase to get up to it so then we'll look up here quickly i just think it's so much fun exploring mine shafts and like again me not having to worry about getting hurt is a bonus you can just kind of run around not be concerned poke around everything and decide you know nothing was really down here so that's okay <gasps> Ooh, yes diamonds i'm glad i looked down here okay let's see how many we can get from this and i want to put a torch down so let's do a torch here just so you guys can see a little better okay let's see how many diamonds we get from this we're still we're on negative one we were on negative 56 that's crazy Oh my goodness. <gasps> this is a big group. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> Ooh. This is. Oh gosh. Oh, we got eight. Okay, okay. <gasps> I'm liking it. This is huge, actually. My goodness. I'm very surprised by this. So we've got one, two. And then three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, take your guesses. Eight or fortune three. How many diamonds do you think we'll get from here? We have 10, so we're just adding to our 10. But I'm going to say with eight ores, we're probably going to end up... I'm guessing we'll end up with 23. So let's see what we end up getting. Okay. Are we ready? I'm guessing 23 and we got 27. Oh my goodness. That's so good. Also, for being on only negative one or negative two, that's actually kind of wild, isn't it? Like, normally you don't get diamonds when you're that high up, but I will take a lucky world gladly. Uh, I don't think I want any more lapis for now. I think we were just looking for redstone and gold. I think I, I'll definitely always take iron just because we need it. Because I want to make sure I can have enough, like, really nice, like, 
anvil's decorative if i want to add like any like chains or anything i would want to have those as well let's make sure we don't fall down never dig straight down you know the usual minecraft uh rule rule of thumb rule of knowledge nothing's there okay and we're gonna go back this way and make our way out me just getting super curious at every turn here <laughs> not gold oh i think i've been here this is where i saw the lapis and the glow lichen which speaking of glow lichen make sure you glow like and subscribe to the channel haha <laughs> If, if you don't know me, I, I really like puns, so if you uh, stick around and watch other things from my channel, you will notice cozy things and puns. So, ooh, here's the gold. So those are the things you can find on my channel is cozy and puns. <laughs> and uh, I love it. It's great. Ooh, here we go. Okay, I need a light for you guys real quick. I'm, uh, you know, it's a very cheesy joke, but honestly, I'm quite proud of my glow, like, and subscribe one. I think it's very funny. Okay. 27. Look at our haul. This is amazing. I'm so happy. Oh, this is so good. And we can make two more bows, right? Or not bows. Well, we can make a bow. We can make two more fishing rods, which is super helpful. But let's try to, like, make our way out of here now. I think I'm nearby where we came down. I think we have to go, like, sneaking in a spot. Oh, it was over here. Okay. I feel like, in general, I'm pretty good with directions, but every once in a while, I just get a little bit, like, confused. So we're just gonna see where we end up. <laughs> okay, I think I remember this area. Let's see if this is kind of the spot oh yeah here we are here we go see look at that i'm i say i'm pretty good with directions i'm gonna mark those down but we've got a ton of iron so this is awesome i love that oh my gosh how many diamond blocks can we make we can make three diamond blocks oh my gosh that's so good wait do all of our oh, all of our diamonds fit in the blocks oh that's so satisfying it makes us look so so rich Ooh. I love that. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. Okay, let's keep looking. I want to find more gold specifically. Um, and I think I saw some over here. But now you kind of know like where we're going to be placing our strip mine and all that stuff. But I am curious if I kind of like mark this spot. I'm going to write down these coordinates because I'm curious if we like end up moving our little mining outpost to be kind of right over this area if we end up being able to like have a cute cozy spot on the surface where maybe we could just like create the rail cart system that kind of winds its way down here and then we can like use this room to make our like mining area that could be nice so i marked these cords so when we're back up at the surface we'll see where it ends up i feel like this will be kind of fun to see because we could end up having a new location that's like a little bit more uh dynamic i just like the hillside that that was on but maybe we'll find something different you never know just stepping on all of the dripstone um let's take a look down here real quick i didn't think oh there's some redstone we'll just grab that quickly and is that it oh nope See, whenever you're looking in Deep Slate, make sure you poke around to the different areas around the block that you're trying to mine up because it is a pretty high chance that you end up just, like, finding a lot more ores, like, hiding. Like, it's got, like, one block in between it or something, you know, but you're often able to just get more things that are good. So I always, like, will look around, try to see if I can find anything else good before kind of, like calling it like well okay there was just that one ore oh that glow lichen got me i was like diamonds see what i mean guys i was just talking about it the the glow lichen it uh it spooks you it gets you thinking you're finding diamonds when you're not 
and we'll find some of this coal so we can cook up all of our ores and goodies that we collected today and i think we're gonna make our way up i am definitely getting distracted looking but i'm excited to build we're gonna go up we're gonna make our little plot of land where we're gonna start building and we're gonna go for it and i should have enough other resources around i might get rid of these that will let us just start working on things. Ooh, there's more coal in here. Perfect. Ooh, there's lots of coal. Okay. I'm not going to like pick up all of the coal because there's a lot of it, but it's good to know it's here because whenever I need to go back and get more, I know where I need to go. And this is the ravine that we're near, but this is how we get out. So we're going to go up this way. Ooh, more gold. Yes. We need all the gold for the powered rails. I'm like genuinely excited to start working on making the like rail cart system so that we can get down to our like strip mine layers for all the different ores. I think it'll be super fun. Like just making the levels. I've never like used minecart systems to like get down to different levels of my caves i don't know if you guys have used that before but for me it's something that's like brand new and like actually super exciting to like try it because it just seems like a more fun way to make moving around the game possible right where does this go does this just lead somewhere we've already been peeking out again hello yep this is just a circle just a little circle around Oh, yep, and our glow squid farm is working. Oh, we're going to grab this gold quick. <laughs> it is kind of silly that this has kind of become a glow squid farm. Like, we're not trying to get you guys killed, but, like, you're just kind of choosing to spawn there repeatedly. Okay, perfect. Now let's grab the gold, and we are finally heading up. I know, I know. I've been finding all the things. I'm going to just put... Okay, I was going to say I'll put him out of his misery... But you did that to yourself, I guess. Okay, lots of goodies. I can't wait to just store all of our spoils. So exciting. And I kind of want to, like, make a staircase. Just so we can, like, continue to use these blocks. And there we go. Now we don't need to keep, like, shearing our leaves every time we want to go up and down, which will be a lot easier. Um, I'm curious if there's anything down here. I put a torch there. <laughs> Literally me just, like, exploring everything. Exploring is definitely one of my favorite things to do in Minecraft. So if you enjoy just, like, running around your area, having it on uh, peaceful is super helpful. Or creative, you know, if you just, like, want to run around a world and not worry about it. But, like, it's just a lot easier. Ooh. There is a big pit. I don't need that. But it does uh, kind of make it fun because then, like, your area... I'm going to put this in my offhand for you guys. You can kind of just explore. <gasps> oh, wow. This is so pretty. You can explore and uh, not be too concerned about mobs. <gasps> Oh, wow, this is beautiful. And there's axolotls. Oh, they're hunting some fishies. Lovely. <gasps> wow. Oh, I love this. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, hey, and there's a different way to get up and out. <gasps> wow. And there's this little aquifer. Let's see where this goes. <gasps> Ooh. Very fun. I like this a lot. Very cool. Our secondary way out. Very fun. Cool. Oh, are we going to see them chomp on some of the fishies? He's kind of just ignoring them. I'm kind of surprised. Okay. We're going to make our way out now, guys. I promised we would, and so we will. We're going to start building. It'll be great. Ooh. Just jumping down. More spoopy noises. All the spooky sounds. Just our absolute favorite. I'm just kidding. I really don't like those noises. Okay. And for now, we'll make a winding staircase like so. Just like this. 
going all the way up. This will at least allow us to not worry about the like stair needing to get replaced a bunch of times because we'll just have it. This can't be here, I'm pretty sure. Okay, perfect. And then let's go like so. And just break the blocks. <laughs> we'll just break it and call it good. And then we can make a little like staircase like right here and then we'll just scoop our way out of the dirt okay now i've got those cords hello chicken so let's go to negative 613 and negative 17 so this is 17 this tree line right here this is 17 and then we're gonna go to Negative 613. Watch this end up being like in the water or something. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. Actually, that would be kind of cool. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to be in the water. Yeah, okay. So this is right where it would be. So what do we think of this area? Because hmm? if we do it right on this edge here. Ooh, that could actually be kind of cute. And then we can like look out over and go to the village whenever we need to. We could even kidnap a villager and make like an armorer here and like a toolsmith. <gasps> no, toolsmith for sure. I don't need armor, but having tools <gasps> from villagers. Oh, and that would be so good because I'm right here. Easily can get villagers. <gasps> Ooh, okay. I like it. We're going to build here. I like it a lot. This is our little spot. Okay, so I'm gonna set up some chests because we have so much good loot on us and then I'm gonna like mark out the path area and let's just look at this again. So this is what we got. This is where we're gonna have it. We're totally changing the the area idea that we have, but I'm honestly okay with it because this will be just super fun. And then we've got chests that we can make. So we're going to store our goodies in there. And then our tools and things in this one that we're going to build with. So let's take a look at our spoils again, shall we? We've got the blocks. All the full blocks. We'll put the amethyst here. Actually, we'll put the amethyst right there. And then all the sizes down to the baby baby one. Look at that. Oh, I love that. And we'll add those in there too. But look at this. Three diamond blocks. A bunch of our different raw ones. So, so cool. And then we'll just make the rest of these raw ones. Just so that it like looks a little bit nicer in our, uh, in our inventory. Right? Because this looks super cool. We'll go like that. Yeah, look at that. It just looks like way cooler when you have like both the blocks and the raw ores. I don't know if anyone does this, but you try to like condense them down because it just looks like you have so much more stuff, right? But as far as the area that we're going to be building, I'm going to use these little blocks here and we're going to help mark this out, right? So part of what I want to do is I want to have a little bit of like the house will go right here and then we'll have like an offshoot piece kind of be out on the side here so i'm gonna like flatten this ground down first so we'll just start up here i need to get more enchants on this than just silk touch because it's still slow even though it's silk touch you know it's, it's still not that fast actually should we just like go back home i have 27 levels do we want to like try to get uh <laughs> A better tool I feel like oh just this is pain even if we get like a level two like efficiency three like it's something better than this right oh and then another thing I want to do I want to create like a powered rail system all the way over to our deep dark area but make it like underground maybe and then we can decorate the tunnel <gasps> that would be so pretty I really enjoy just like these let's play worlds and just how like a project like that is something that would be like really enjoyable to watch for a long play so i'm definitely doing that 
because we're gonna be able to like do a bunch of mining hopefully like we'll do it on our uh, diamond level because hopefully we can find more diamonds and throughout our like adventures we can kind of like find different uh like trims like i haven't really like found any trims in like ships or anything quite yet so i want to be able to like find trims and we can just use our diamond armor to kind of create like a showcase of all the cool like blocks or not blocks but like trims we can find i'm building with blocks right now and saying blocks instead of saying trim gotta love when you do that right Oh, there's a block in here. That's why you weren't despawning. Okay, there we go. I don't like how these oak trees have so many sneaky little logs just like hiding in between them. Like, I can't tell if they're going to despawn or if it's just like stuck because there's like a log just like sneakily hiding in it. We're going to clear this out. I hate when I do that. It's always like nice. You made this nice little pillar block so that you like stay kind of safe and you just didn't use it. It's funny. Okay, before I get that one, so this is another trick. If you're trying to collect leaves but you don't want the trunk under it, leave one block open and like leave one of the wood blocks there because then the leaves won't despawn and you can pick them all up. And then when you get rid of this, then the leaves will start despawning. So nice little hack there for you. But I'm going to quickly uh, make a furnace. I do need to smelt up some of this iron that we've been collecting up so that we can have shears again. So let's get that going. Perfect. And then we'll get some supplies. Yeah, I've got all these. So we'll just put these in here for now because this is going to be our trim. Our floor is going to be made out of spruce planks. So we have plenty of spruce planks. Our roof is going to be, the inside of the roof will be spruce planks. We're going to use uh, some like cobbled deep slate bricks as the trim. And then we're going to make our walls out of our stripped oak like we have been. And that's going to be kind of like our color palette for this thing. And I think it'll be great. I also want to get silk touch on this diamond hoe because then I don't need to keep using shears. <laughs> To collect all my leaves. It would just be so much nicer. I also don't need my flint and steel here. Um, let's just move you for now. Okay. So let's start clearing this next layer out. Also, I'm going to put down a log. Let's put down some deep slate. Because I was like, where's the block again? This is the block. That's the block that I need to remember is where we have our staircase, like directly the staircase. Because this area will be the build. This will be the little offshoot. I want to have kind of like a, a shed, like lean to kind of like a sign. Like I'm envisioning having like a little like sign board here and then like on this we'll use some of the glow ink that we found and then we're going to have like the, the, the like iron level is these cords, the gold level, the copper level, the diamond layer and then we can kind of know like which stop on our little mining system is going to, you know, get us to where we need to go and I think it'll be really cool. So that is the, the vision for what we're going to be working on today. And I think it will be super fun. I like how even though I had like a plan coming into this as I'm kind of like in the world and I'm like just talking out loud, kind of like externally processing what I feel like doing. I just end up coming up with a lot more ideas for this. Like sometimes I'll just like have the loose outline of like, I want to build a mining outpost today. And that's what we're going to do. But as we're kind of like talking about, hey, like maybe we do a little bit of like a, a minecart system to get our way down to the different levels. Like I didn't have that in my plan or like my idea for this world, but I feel like it would be super fun to add. Like I didn't have the idea to use our diamonds that we find to show off any of the armor trims that we find, but I like that idea. Have like a little museum. 
and then you guys can see the different like armor trims i know like you you can literally just like look up what they are but i think it's kind of fun to see it in someone's world like granted there's not really like risk <laughs> in my world because it's literally just like peaceful we're here for the good vibes just hanging out and like chatting and building you know but it's still just like cool to know like oh like i can see this in someone's world and like this is how they went and found all those things so like things like that is kind of fun for me but like i didn't have the idea of making like a minecart system from our mining outpost over to our ancient city where we have our like xp source and the ancient city so i think uh it'll just be cool also, for our winter world, I kind of want to, like, revamp a village into, like, a Christmassy thing. So that's probably what we're going to do it, for our winter theme. So that will start in December. So we'll have some wintry, cute, long plays for the, the channel as well. And I think that will be super fun. I'm planning to do most of those with commentary, but honestly, like... <laughs> I feel like around like the fall season there's just like a lot more like sickness and like colds going around so if i'm ever just like not feeling well but still want to be like creating something for you we'll definitely do some of the like no commentary ones so you can still have some building cozy vibes and sounds to keep you company you just uh won't hear my voice <laughs> But the, the Minecraft sounds will keep you company. But I love the idea of like converting a village to like a wintry themed one. And the mod packs that I found that I'm going to make for the wintry themed one. It's going to be so cute. I'm so excited. Like, okay, just to give you guys like a little bit of a hint. Okay, so sugarcane, it is green right like it's a little bit muted in this mod pack but in the winter themed one i'm going to use because it's sugar and it's cane like a candy cane the sugar cane is literally red and white striped just like candy cane and i love that so much like i'm literally like so excited to use the mod pack just for the like the sugar cane literally being candy cane like it's literally just like colored and like the usual shape even of what we have for sugarcane, but it's just, it's just a really cute little, uh, little, little sugarcane candy cane little guy. So I love that. All right, but we're getting everything sorted out as far as where we're placing this. This will be great. Loving that. I really want efficiency on this little shovel. Oh my goodness. But you know, that's part of starting in a world, you know? Like you don't have the perfect tools and it helps you kind of like appreciate like when you don't have the good tools, it makes you appreciate the good tools even more. Cause right now I'm like, ooh, in my single player series that I have right now, like my tools are good. Like I've got some nice enchanted tools right now, but currently in this, this video, I don't got any of that. And I feel it, I really do. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna like literally just like, I need this to look good. So we're gonna do that. And then we'll just do a little, oh, I can't even get on top of it. A little, a boop, perfect. Oh, and my poor shovel, I need mending. Maybe we need to like hang out with the villagers for a bit and get mending at some point too. But I feel like re-rolling is just kind of boring. I've talked about that before. Okay, so hopefully this will just become grass quick because right now it, it don't look pretty. I also want to have a bed because, well, I don't want it to be dark the whole time we're hanging out here. But, oh, there's the, the full moon or the new moon. But anyways, so the build that we're going to make is going to be 11 by 7. So we're just going to start kind of path blocking this out, but let's do it like right here. So we'll do, start with the seven, right? So we'll start from the back. So we'll do one and then two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this is the seven. So we go like so, and then one, two, three, four, six. Mm. We're gonna move this over. So this is gonna come back more because I want this build to be like, not so much off to the side. I want it to kind of be like nestled behind here. So I'm gonna move some of this real quick. 
And I'm going to take a sip of my coffee as well. My coffee is turning cold. It is official. I'm playing Minecraft with my cold coffee. <laughs> Sometimes I joke and I'm like, yeah, I get my coffee in all forms. We get iced coffee, it starts with hot coffee, then we go to iced coffee. Uh, it's kind of funny, but also kind of not because it's kind of sad. Okay, so this looks like it's more like the little, little, little nook I wanted. So we'll do one here and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, and how do we like that for our look here and this is our seven right one two three four five oh no it was not don't place it where it was okay so then from here go one two three four five six and seven so how do we feel about that i feel like this is honestly like a nice little spot i like it and then we'll have like the trees in the background of it i think it's cute okay we're we're making progress we're getting there done it's exactly in line with this, which is also good. So this is our shape. I really like using pa oh hollow. How's it going? My oak logs. I really like using path blocks to kind of like get the shape all figured out because it helps you kind of visualize like this is how big it is. This is what it's going to look like. And I think it is super helpful. But let's just go up by four. One, two, three, four. And then we hop down. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna try to not make fall damage noises. One, two, three, four. But sometimes you can't avoid it. One, two, three, four. Okay, perfect. And we're gonna have the like signboard be over here more. So I'm just gonna like push this back a little bit. And honestly, we have a little like pond here, which is kind of cute. All right, so then we're gonna do two here. Do I have any? Okay, I just got lots of dirt in my inventory, nice. We'll go like this. And then we want two blocks on either side, so we're gonna go up and then down. And like this. And that. tools up here usually I'll always make my corners look like so where there's like the corner pillar that from the inside you don't see it all but on the outside like you do see it so I'll always make sure that I have these three blocks here before I like consider putting in a window just because then you kind of like have your wall blocks placed which is helpful I don't even know if that makes sense sometimes I'm like yeah, my, my process totally makes sense to people. No, Red, no, it doesn't. <laughs> but then, yeah, we can put some windows. We'll get these little guys in here as well. Get those all stripped down. We've got more oak in here, so we'll grab those and put those in our offhand. There we go, and then we'll put two windows here. And then we've got these guys, and we remove them, just like so. And then this is actually going to be where uh, we're going to just move this over one, because I want to go like so. This is going to be our, our door, okay? And this is going to be where we have... our windows right here there we go and i want all of the logs to be like facing the same way so like if i were to just like stick a log here it would go sideways and it wouldn't like look the same so we just kind of like put these blocks here and they go like so and then it just keeps the bark facing all the same way so that's what I uh, always make sure that I do. And then our floor is going to be made of spruce. And I think we have some spruce with us. Let's just convert this. 
real quickly. And we're going to use slabs just so we can like save on some... Actually, we don't even save, honestly. We don't We don't even save on uh, resources. I mean, I'm, what, I'm, what am I doing? <laughs> You're just like mutter to yourself, like, what am I? Why am I doing this? <laughs> I don't even know. Okay. We're going to add in our floor first, you know, get the, the feel for it. See where we want to put some walls in. Usually with like these long plays, I'll kind of like mess around with different ideas and creative for it and that kind of like helps me get the the feel for what i'm going for um let's put a torch in here i should probably make more torches honestly i also think i kind of want to go to that village and like steal some of their beds just so or at least steal one of their beds so that we have some something to sleep in to keep the sunshine going Okay, there we go, all the way here, almost done, almost got all of the planks in, that's good, okay, awesome, okay, there we go, we've got a bunch of these, so let's just like fill this up, I think in our bedroom I'm not gonna have a window behind us, so we're just going to fill these in quickly, and we're gonna run out, there we go, I feel like the more I do these long plays, I also get a little bit faster at building things. Like, usually I just like struggle, but I think, oh, I can't have this. Go away, thank you. But I feel like I'm just getting like a little bit like faster and it makes me feel really good. Like, I'm learning. I feel like it's always fun to like see yourself make progress. Like, man, like this build would have taken me so long. Especially with roofs. I feel like I'm trying to practice at getting better at like roof shapes and things. And while I haven't done like a whole lot of roof designs that are like different, I definitely am feeling more like comfortable in like some of the types that I'm like learning how to build in. And a lot of them are just like pretty simple, but honestly, like <laughs> for me, I'm still calling it like a win. Like I'm I'm building I'm getting it done, you know? I think it's important to be like, hey, like, everyone struggles in different areas when it comes to, like, the game. And, like, as long as we're just putting, like, time into trying to, like, learn, like, we can't be upset when we're, like, you know, new to something. It's a process. And I think it's just especially fun with, like, Minecraft. Like, you can see your builds change. Especially if you keep, like, the same exact world over time, like, you get to see the transformation of, like, you getting better at building certain ways, you know? So it makes it more fun. And then we go up here. And then we strip all those down. And then we go over here. We put this in our offhand. I feel like it's always easier to do this. And sometimes, even if I'm not sure where I'm going to put a... A little like window in here I'll still just kind of like look it over because like I would put a window here so we can pick up these and I want to make some walls so let's look at where we put some walls in so let's do one two three so this will be a wall so usually with minecraft builds you want it to be uneven so if you're making a wall for anything I might uh change this so that it's like the fully like stripped logs but making it uneven is actually gonna be like the best way to do it because like if I put a bed down here then I can put like two shelves on either sides but if it's even then you have like two beds that you can place down if you're trying to keep everything like symmetrical so when you're making your rooms keep it in an uneven number because this is one two three four five right but my walls make it six and seven but the inside is five by three so it's still uneven so my bed can go right here so that's just a, a little hack okay always build your builds uneven numbers okay always in the 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 threes the fives the sevens the nines usually my like builds are like a a seven by eleven or like a nine by thirteen like something like that is usually like the the types that I like pick 
Um, but yeah, I think this is looking good so far. Um, I'm doing this a little bit earlier, but I want to start kind of like laying out uh, different things that we're going to put in here. And then I want to get some campfires underneath here. So let's get three in here. Uh, I need a lot more sticks. Let me grab this birch. We'll make... What is, okay, I'm curious. So when I need to make like a ton of sticks, which wood type do you make your sticks out of? Most of the time I will make my sticks if I'm able to out of birch because I do not use birch as much. I would try to avoid using spruce personally because I use spruce the most. So I try to use birch as what I make my sticks out of. But I'm curious what you guys, oh, and we get more rain, but you know, it's perfect for the cozy building vibes. But yeah, I'm curious what you guys tend to build your sticks out of. Like, do you use bamboo? Do you use birch? Like, it's kind of interesting because it kind of like tells you like which blocks people like more, right? Like me saying I don't use spruce if I can help it implies that I like spruce and I don't want it to become sticks. So I'm just curious what you use to make your sticks. It's kind of like an interesting way to like get to know someone in a sense, you know, it's kind of funny, but it's, it, it's true. You know, like I will try to use my birch. We'll go like so. And we'll go like so. Okay. And then let's make a door quick. And we also need to make ourselves a nice little uh, door quick, just because it's rainy. Then we need to make a roof quicker. But let's just enjoy some building vibes in the rain. I'm gonna be quiet for a little bit and just let you guys enjoy the ambient rain sounds while we're doing some building. I think that it's uh, really nice to just enjoy listening to the sounds around you. So enjoy just listening to the vibes.
we've got a nice clear evening once again. I feel like at some point I really want to go and grab one of the beds by where like the villagers are, but at this point like I can't really be bothered. I don't think we get phantoms in peaceful mode, so I'm not really like concerned about getting like attacked by phantoms or anything, which is honestly very helpful. Uh, but you know, we'll we'll see if they spawn. Maybe maybe they'll just hang out. Um, but that would be interesting if like we don't get slow falling. Like I just think about like oh, if you don't have slow falling, like fighting the dragons harder. But like I don't even think the dragon would mess with us because I don't even think they like show up in peaceful or anything like that, right? So it's just like interesting things to like consider. It's like oh, I never would have like thought about that being like the thing that like we don't have to worry about but it's uh definitely something that you know we don't have to worry about um i need some glass and then we have some bones so we're just gonna like oops that's a stick we're gonna use bone meal for our glass here and we're gonna use white stained glass because that's always my favorite and we do need to get some of these spruce stairs because that's what we're gonna build out of we'll see how many we get i don't think we'll have enough by any means but we're just we're gonna go for it but what i've been building here this is gonna be kind of like a, a chimney type of a thing so we're gonna grab this and it's gonna kind of be like a smoker like we're out we are melting down all of the iron that we got so that's kind of like the idea with this little thing. We're gonna like give it a, give it a little like chimney shoot as well. So we're just going like so. And I guess I didn't finish this little spot here. But then we're incorporating some of the just little brick guys. And then I need to put this here. Go like so. And I think if I go, oops, like this. Okay, perfect. So then we go around and... Nope, wrong way. I need to, like, have it highlight the campfire block itself. But I can't be too close to it because it doesn't like that. Otherwise, it won't work for me. So we're going to go around like so. See if that works. There we go. And then we've got our little kind of, like, smelty guy. Uh, where's my... I think I just want, like, the... Okay, that works. But yeah, now it kind of just looks like we're like smelting some stuff up. It's like a little, little like outside oven is kind of like the look I was going for. Um, yeah, just a, a funky little something. But let's take our slabs. Let's get our roof on. Or not our slabs, our stairs. Better yet. And I'm sure you saw how funky this looked with our roof trim and with our like roof, our like ceiling block. But once I start adding this in, you don't see any of that at all. And it works really well and it doesn't look funky anymore. So um, it's definitely one of those like trust the process. Because if you just look at that side, the side of the roof looks great. The other side uh, looks very interesting, but it slowly becomes something great so it's uh you have to trust the process but the result is really good so that's always fun to see and can i i don't think i can reach we're also going to go back to our place because we need to get more stairs because we won't have enough for this that's for sure but we can get at least like most of one of the sides done which is still great there we go and we just go like that oh Let's go like so. Okay. Then we hop in here. Grab this guy. There we go. But I am, I'm always curious to know, while you're watching this long play, what do you use these long plays for? Because obviously, like, there's people that'll just, like, enjoy just, like, watching and listening, like, in real time, everything. But some people will just use these to, like, study. Like, is this your, like, study background noise? I'm very curious how you use the long plays that I make. And hopefully they are keeping you very, uh, just, like, 
they're keeping you company, you know, chill vibes, you're having a good time with them, you're enjoying them, like, that's what I care about. But yeah, I've just always been curious to know, like, what people use the long place for the most. Because it's just interesting to see how different people use them. I'm gonna put, like, a little chimney guy in here, which actually would mean that these would get moved over because we're going to be adding a chimney that's going to take up these three blocks right here. So this will actually be cleared out because I'm gonna add granite and like bricks in here. And then we'll add our chimney up through like this portion. So we're gonna keep this open for a chimney. And then our window will go right here. So I need two more just like regular guys right here. There we go. Okay, so another window. Now let's put these back. And we should have some sand, perfect. Amazing, and I'm using the glass panes because I like how it doesn't take up the whole block. It's just a little bit of it, right? It kind of like creates like some depth to the windows. So usually I used to always use just like the white stained glass blocks. But recently I've started liking the panes because you get the little like edging, right? So I'm gonna just add these guys in all the way around to our little spot. And we have a perfect a number with two left over. Awesome, perfect, okay. Now let's put these back in here. Okay, so we'll add these guys in. I don't need these for now. The bone can stay. And we need to get more spruce for the other side. So we're going to quickly run back over. <gasps> Wait, a doggo. We need another doggo. Oh my goodness. But we're going to run over and grab some more spruce so that we can finish the other side of our roof. Because right now, this just looks so bad. Like, it's a half and half roof pretty much. But you can kind of get the idea, right? Like, this is what it looks like before and after. So... You never need to feel too bad about something looking a little funky because you can always fix it. All right, got those. I also need to get, I need to probably spend a diamond and fix my shovel or actually let's just, okay, I have 27 levels. We've got the diamonds for it. Let's save this. We're gonna bring the, the bones with us. We'll see if we can get a dog off of two. Unlikely, but you know, it's uh, possible. But we're just going to take one of the diamonds and we're going to make a shovel because I want to save my silk touch one. And we're going to try to get a little bit better of, I guess, like enchants and rerolls. We also need more coarse dirt and stuff. So we're going to go back to our base. But let's see if we can find a little doggo. I kind of like the idea of over by our different areas. Like we have a doggo by our enchanting setup. We have a doggo by our, our starter house. We can have a doggo kind of guarding our mining place. Hi, dude. Can you please take uh, this with two bones? That would be wonderful. Nice. Okay, never mind. Um, you greedy. Okay. But at least I know that if I needed, you know, to get a dog, uh, he's probably pretty close. Okay, but let's go back. Let's see. We need to get spruce and decorative box. That's what we need to get. And I'm about to run into the ravine. Don't want to do that. I'm pretty sure the only thing that can actually, like... Kill me in this uh, world on peaceful mode is if I take fall damage all the way. Because I don't even need to eat food. Like, my health just gets replenished. My hunger is always full just because they want you to, like, not be stressed, right? They want you to just enjoy your time. Which, you know, I kind of uh, I kind of like that. We also will need to make a much better path to get to our outpost. Because right now, we're just walking in between trees and all sorts of things trying to find our way and i don't want to like hurt myself on the way down you know like we gotta figure out a way maybe uh, we'll make like a bridge at some point and there's our cozy little fishing spot look how cute that is oh my gosh i love that all right let's go and grab some more items to build with 
I feel like we're making good progress on our little uh our little mining outpost though. The the rail system might not be something we get done today. Uh we'll see where we're at as far as how long it takes me to finish what my main goal was for today, which is just to set up our little mining cottage over by the area that we're going to be getting all of our like materials from. Okay, we've got some stairs already, which is helpful. I remembered where I put the rest of my stuff. We'll bring over uh, some more spruce for decorations and things. Do I have trap doors in here? Uh, we'll bring these over and then let's check our other barrels. Oh yes, I wanted the polished granite because we're going to make a little chimney like I said. And then I think I had dirt. Did I have coarse dirt? Yes. Oh, we had so much rooted dirt. That's amazing. We're going to make some coarse dirt real quick. I want more coarse dirt than just 23. That's like the main thing. So let's make this. All right, 55 should be good. So now we have rooted dirt, we have coarse dirt, we've got regular dirt and we can kind of decorate the floor with that. I don't have cocoa beans yet, so we don't have any of that. We needed the barrels really badly, so that's great. Um, we need one up at the campfires for the fireplace. I wanna get more paintings. They're just really expensive. Uh, but let's bring over a few different candles. We'll bring over some composters. We'll need an extra little crafting table over there. And I'm gonna bring a grindstone and just some other things for us to like, kind of make it seem like we're cutting different elements of the ores and things. And then, oh, there's more bones. We'll bring those for that little dude. And let's see here. Let's make some more torches. So we go like so. Look at he's peeking over the counter. Hi, bud. <laughs> I think that's so cute. And so we've got more of those, which is great. We'll leave these for now. And I'm going to bring some of these iron bars in case we want to, like, kind of create just, like, a, a walled-off little campfire area. I'll actually bring a second campfire. And we'll bring some chests as well. We will need to go looking for a spore blossom because, you know, I always love to add a spore blossom into what we're working on and building. Oh my gosh, I had so many bones in here. I didn't realize that. Um, let's see here. What else do we need to bring over? Our shears are literally about to die, so I might just get different shears at this point. Um, let's just leave these here. I'm pretty sure we have, yeah, I had two in my inventory. But I want to bring some flowers, which is why I was trying to, like, clear my inventory. Um, and then we'll bring a few of the little mushies. Let's bring some of these guys. And then I'm going to hold a little mushroom in my offhand. And that way we can add more saplings. Oh, we need moss. Moss will be our carpet. Um, man, okay. So let's do this. I wish I had like a backpack or something, but I'm not doing like modded in that way. But I think we have everything that I'll need. We have more spruce with us. We've got the little planks, the stairs, so we should be good. Okay. I just realized, though, I don't have a bed with me. So, actually, what is this little dude? What are you doing? You are just a lone, single little guy. Why? <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. We go like so, and we go like so, and we make a bed, and we go like so, and we go like so, and now we have a bed, and what should we dye it? I kind of want to dye it like a gray. Um, let's see, I wanted to use, let's, okay, yeah, I wanted a dark gray bed just because we have the, uh, like, it's kind of like, to me, I think of like, a dark gray when I think of like a mining outpost because of like coal and stones and all of that. So I wanted to have a dark gray bed. So that is perfect. Now we've got a bunch of stuff in our inventory. Let's first try to go find that little doggo friend and then we can bring them to our area. So that's what we're looking for first. 
We're going through our little forest to get ourselves a little doggo friend. Hopefully we can get them quickly because we already gave them two bones, but we will find out. And you know, it works out that we're also on the way back to our main area. Oops. Oh wait, I'm gonna quickly enchant this shovel that I just made. We'll see what we can get. 27 levels isn't a lot, but it's not nothing, right? Like it's something. So we're just gonna run through our forest up to our cozy enchanting tower. Hello, doggo, thanks for guarding the tower. And I love how this tower looks, especially at night. Like this tower is one of my favorite little builds here. And with all the spore blossom particles, it's just so pretty. Like at night, it just like glows. Like it's so easy to see where our area is. And now that we're like having more of like the path slid up in between the trees to like link everything. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Now we got to sneak our way up our winding staircase, which sometimes is not the easiest thing to like scale. <laughs> um, but let's see here. Let's leave this here. And lapis and the spoon. Efficiency three, I was saying that I would even take efficiency three. So, oh, literally just efficiency three. Um, Let's try one more time. Did I put a grindstone up here? Well, I guess this grindstone is staying here now. Um, okay, now we're going to disenchant. Do I get my XP back? Okay, thank you. Okay. Just kept jumping to make sure. Unbreaking one, efficiency one. Oh gosh, um, not the best. Please give me more than just that. Oh my lanta. These are not the enchants that I'm looking for. Can you give me my XP? Thank you. Okay, one more time, guys. I will accept whatever this is. I have 23 levels. Uh, okay. Oh my word, these are not great. Okay, I said I do no more than one more. I am doing one more. Beep, beep. Okay, I need to move this. I need to reposition this. I don't want the XP to get stuck. That's my like main concern. So maybe we go like so. I feel like that's a little bit safer. Unbreaking two. And for it's still slow. I should have just kept efficiency three. Uh, you know, you live and you learn. I feel like I'm just like <laughs> that work. Okay, no more XP. Okay. Efficiency two. I will take that. And I'm breaking. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're calling it good. I am happy with that. We bring this little dude with us. Okay. I will take efficiency two and unbreaking two. Uh, because I can add, I can combine my little silk touch and this one. Well, yeah, I can combine them. I thought I had fortune two on it for a second. So I was about to be like, well, I can't really deal with um, having to lose one of them. But we will take the unbreaking and the efficiency. It'll be great. And uh, let's just go down our path again. We're uh, we're getting to see our little uh, fishing hut quite a bit because we keep on like swimming past here to get to our mining outpost. But I kind of like the idea of having like an underground, just like a minecart system to get everywhere. Like it just sounds like fun, you know? So that's probably what I'll end up doing to connect all the different places that we have. Let's just hop our way up here, scaling the trees so we don't have to scale other things like, I guess, mountains, which, you know, we still have to scale, but less of the hopping up the one block of dirt type of scaling mountains. And once we get there, we are going to put our bed inside our build and then we're going to sleep just because I want to have some daylight. It is really convenient that the uh, the little village is so close to this side of things because I do like the idea of having an armorer because he's going to be the one with like all of the tools that we can get things from and it just kind of like fits. Oh gosh, that is the ravine. Like it fits that we have ores that we're collecting from the mines, the mine carts bring them up and then the armorer turns them all into... Little, little tools. I think it's great. Now, 
what would be great is if I found the doggo. I thought the dog was the birch tree. Nice. That's great. Oh, here you are. Hi, buddy. Hello. Oh, it was just one more. Look at that. Uh, I don't have fun colored collars, but you can uh, come with me. And you're going to just watch over. Oh, look at our little mining outpost at night. You coming with? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Little cutie. Oh, teleporting with me. Cool. And here we are. This thing looks a little strange. I might change the look of this. I might put the, like, walls on these corners. That's probably what I'll end up doing. Because it looks a little silly right now. But you can just kind of hang out here. Actually, come inside the house. Yeah, come inside. Inside. Come on. There you go. Good dog. Okay. And you can just stay there for now. All right, let's take a snooze. I'm going to take a sip of my drink. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. What shall we do next? Um, we need to finish the wall. Or the, the roof. We'll finish the roof first. Let's go up here. And I'll you. Beep, 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 beep. Do you ever just like make sounds as you're like placing blocks? I just realized I was doing that just like beep, 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 beep. I don't know if anyone else does that, but I definitely am guilty of that. I need to find where that extra block went. But I definitely am guilty of doing that, but sometimes it's just, you know, it's kind of like a fun thing to do, but I'll like catch myself doing that and then be like, oh, ignore me. I'm just being strange. And stairs. Okay, perfect. And more stairs. Cool, okay. I think this should be enough. We don't have like a whole ton of the roof left to go. That's just kind of like right in here. Perfect. Oop. Oop. Love it, love it, love it. You can see our little doggo friend down in there. Nice. Okay, awesome. So our roof is done. Look at that. We need to fix this eyesore though, probably on both sides, but I'm, I'm very happy that we got this. Now, I did forget we're going to be building a little, uh, a little chimney right in here. So these are going to be the ones that we're like going to be missing because we're building it. Oh. So we're going to go like so. And then we need the oak, but for now, let's just build this up for a little bit. Okay. And then I think what we're gonna do is maybe we'll go up one. I'm looking, I in creative was like working on this world and I kind of like already have an idea of how I want it to look. So we're just kind of like modifying it as we need to. So we're gonna go like so, cause then this is like actually straight up. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're just kind of like adding in different blocks just to kind of create a chimney that looks a little bit kind of like broken down. Like these are all facing different ways and it looks like it's a little broken if you look at the different like side angles. It's not like completely perfect. You know, we're like kind of just adding different textures and angles to things to lift it up and I think this looks like really cool. This is always what I try to do with different chimneys just because it like adds a little bit more to it. Um, but what's interesting is this is four blocks and the campfire is going to go on one of these blocks. 
So right now, this looks a little funky, right? So we're going to need to like modify this slightly. So let's just grab more of these. And then we'll peek it up. There we go. Because all we really need to do is like modify this side a little bit. And then just like add in some of this. We can actually like fix these, right? Because you won't see these side ones. So we're going to go like so. Because this becomes the side. And then we go like this. Hmm. Actually, what we need to do is have a hole that the everything's going to like, all the smoke will like funnel up through. So sometimes making chimneys, you just need to like, rethink through your design because right now we've got this so we go like so and like this is the one So then it's like so. So let's try it like so. Let's see if, how we like this. I feel like this might be a little bit better. And then we go like up. We go like this. Because hmm. eventually this will be up high enough where maybe we move this down one. Let's move it down one. It's right on the edge. So then this would be our edge. Then we've got this. We move these out of the way. That's there, that's there, that's like so. Okay, we go like that. And then this one is one of the sides. And then we just kind of scatter this until we kind of like the, the look of it. Like that. Okay, let's see how this looks. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. I I like this better. Yeah, this is looking good. Okay, and then what we do, since we're going to add a campfire, is we're going to add this little guy at the top. And we'll kind of like redo how these look. Let's see how tall we want it to be though. Like how tall of a chimney? Definitely taller. This is silk touch, right? Yes. Definitely a taller tower. For sure, for sure, for sure. And then I wanna like change the different directions that we're going with the blocks. Can I do it? Okay. So let's go like so. Like that. And then I like to, once I start getting up, oh, I don't like how it's like a hole. <laughs> We're gonna go like this. There we go. The hole is a little funky at the front. But I like that better. That's cool. Okay, so as far as like the, the, the height, I feel like this is pretty good. And then what we need to do is we're probably gonna just place a block down here. We'll place our campfire. We don't have any of the 
trap doors, but we can remedy that pretty quickly. So we need just four. And then we go bop, bop, like that. And then like that. And then what we're also gonna do is angle it and then we're gonna have all of them start to do this at our top I think is uh what I'm deciding we'll do and some of them might look a little funky but I think it can also look good so then we'll go like here put that in go like that oh don't burn yourself <laughs> And then these two are like back to back the same thing. So we're just gonna go around here and then figure out a different way to make it look different. Different way to make it look different. Yep, that's usually how you make it look different. All right, look at that. I'm, I'm good with that. It's not like perfect. He's a little bit of like a chunky little, little chimney, but you know, it works out for our little area. And then we've got this, we go like so, and we're gonna end up, this is like what we have for the chimney. So we've got slabs we can make. So let's do that. Make some slabs. And then we'll go like this. I don't need torches. Oh, owie, ow. Mm -hmm. So this is our little like hearth thing. We go like so, we go like so. Uh, we need a few more. Okay. And then We go like this. And then let's just like remove these to kind of give it a little bit more like fireplace warmth to it. Like so. I am curious how we could like fit these in. I don't think they're gonna like really do much. Yeah, see I can't really use them right here unless I change up how I have this like structured. Which we could try something different. We could try like this. But I don't like how much light that cuts out, right? So we're just going to leave it with the little, little stair guys. I think this will be fine. I think this will be perfectly fine. And then because this is going to be like so, we'll just do it this way. And then we can go like that. So you can kind of like see the smoke like moving up. Kind of like the idea of having that on both sides though, honestly. So let's just add this in. Look at that, that's cool. And then, ooh, I could put the flame, the little like iron like so. That looks cool. I didn't expect that to work, but that's pretty sweet. Okay, so then we don't need the chimney stuff anymore. The next things that we need are the barrels because I want to make sure this place has lots of storage. So that's what I was like trying to make sure is all the way around. And then I wanted to put barrels right here and here. And I'm also gonna remove this wall here because from the kitchen, you can't actually see it, right? So we can actually slip more barrels in here without it looking too strange. Now it kind of just creates like a top line and you can't really see it so i think it works super well and then we were gonna add some of the carpet we wanted to add some stairs for like counters in here so we'll add some of those in and then we'll add our little si side stand guys which is always good and we'll do a little bit of this and in this corner is actually where I want to put the crafting table. It's usually just an easy spot to have it be in the corner. 
Um, and then let's uh, let's switch this out. Let's make some more of those little fence wall guys. Let's do one, two, three, four, because I don't know if I'm going to get that one back in the middle. Oh, perfect. Let's try this. And then... Then the smoke actually like goes upwards the whole time and doesn't get like stuck either, which I think looks really cool. And then we're gonna have some flower boxes out here. So we're gonna have them just be like under the windows a little bit on the sides, nothing too crazy. And we're gonna try to like make it as even as possible like so. And then we'll go like this. And we'll do five over here. Just do a really long line of them. And I think that'll look really good. We'll start to add the trapdoors and things out here as well as everything else. But for now, let's uh, get these up here. Like so. Oh yeah, I need to uh, fix my, uh, my oak. Okay, yep, that's what we need to fix first. Um, there we go, oak. And I'm gonna take a quick little nap because it's dark out. Okay, all right. And it's another day. So let's fix our oak problem. We'll use some moss to kind of uh, build up. Okay, yes. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. That is good to go. Oh my gosh, even just having efficiency two is so helpful. Wow. I'm a big fan of that. That made a huge difference. <laughs> and we got that guy, and we've got that guy. So there we go. We've got some of the lights starting to take place. We just need two on the back. I'm happy about that. And then uh, we're gonna add some shelves, but we're gonna use up a lot of the spruce. So let's take a look and make a bunch of trap doors here. We'll get some more little planks so we can make even more trap doors because we need to cover this. We need to make sure they get completely covered. Just like so. And then we can add in our little flowers and the mushrooms and stuff. So we'll actually, it has to be a lot darker for the mushrooms to spawn. I always forget that. It's back here like that. Well, it's a little bit too bright around here, but that's fine. We'll just pick different guys. There we go. Oh, look at that. It's so cute. Okay. And we have this painting, but I don't exactly know where to hang it. We could go like so. Or like so. Or... Oh, that's a little too big. I feel like I need to have just something a little bit different to keep it from doing that. But that's, that's fine, maybe it's totally okay. And then I'm going to, so I usually use moss carpets to just create some greenery in the houses that I make. But what I'm gonna try actually is placing some of it with moss so that there's these like edges by the pixels. So it adds a little bit more of a like dynamic look to it. And I think it'll look really cool. So that was kind of like the idea that I had to just try something a little new. And so far I think it looks really cool. Just has some like different levels. I like it, I like it a lot. And uh, I'm gonna keep all of my like building supplies in this side thing. I don't want to like get them confused and like not bring them home by accident. So we've got these little composters, which honestly we don't really need on the outside. 
and our inside is looking pretty good so i might not use the composters but we'll we'll see well, we might use them later um but let's just take make like an outside area to like store things so we've got some of this oh we already had some in our inventory i guess that's okay and let's go like so and we go like that and we go like so and then let's put these back in here and we're gonna make a ton of the little uh trap doors again it is so expensive to make a ton of trap doors like they are so so expensive it's actually crazy okay so i was gonna do little shelves right here and then also we'll do shelves right here we're gonna do shelves right here go there we go okay perfect because then we'll, we'll be able to put like torches in here and oops did not mean to do that let's uh let's put this back like so and i'm curious how this would look <gasps> Oh, it's a mushroom! Okay, yep, it's perfect. And then we can get some little, like, uh, little clay pots and put them there. Oh, this is why I have my candles. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, perfect. I like it. I like it, I like it. And we need to fix these. There we go. Okay. And some nice rain by our little area. How lovely. Okay. So I'm liking how this is looking so far. We are gonna grab some clay pots. So let's go looking for some clay quickly. Again, run along the riverbank. I think this should be enough. We don't need like a whole ton. Just a few. Okay, I grabbed all the ones that were fallen or floated, I should say. Add those in. And then I want to start taking some of the fences and we're gonna make some signs. And we're gonna kind of make a little like that notice board that I talked about that had the different like levels for our little area. So I'm gonna just work on that next. So we'll get these. And we're making it, let's make it five. So we will kind of like have this be in the way a little bit, but let's just go maybe like, one, two, three, four. Okay, play pots. Let's get these made. Add them in while more of them smelt up. Oh, I can't actually add any here. Okay, I've got to change that because I need to put a little a little mushroom guy because it's just too on brand. It must happen. Okay, and then let's put a clay pot like right in here. And then I think I had some flowers in here. Yeah, we'll just take some saplings, because I placed flowers around here. There we go. I like it. 
And we can add some candles over there. Perfect. And then what I am going to do that I think will look kind of cool, but also be a little interesting, is let's see if I can do this. Yeah, so we've got these stone pressure plates. And I think it could be kind of cool to use. So we're going to put a stone pressure plate in this middle one. And it kind of just creates like a cutting board or a different type of surface. And I think it's kind of nice. So we'll leave that. And then we'll leave all of the barrels. Let's put these guys away for now. Okay, we'll leave the barrels. We'll leave the fences. We're going to make some signs. And we're going to use these signs to go around the poles, except I want to uh, have these be taller and like right there. So a little bit closer than I initially had them. And then we're going to make some fence gates. Like so. And then we're going to go like this. One, two, three, four. Just like that. And then we're going to add signs around because with the signs, this kind of creates like a board. Looks like a bunch of planks kind of. So we're just going to take those and make them look good. We've got the cl little clay pots. And then we go like so. And we're just literally going to go around and box this whole area in. And then whenever we have like tasks we want to get done in our mining area, all we have to do is just like come over here and just like click on the task we want to work on. We can also click on anything where we're like, let's go work on this. And we can go work on the project because we like took a picture of it, we remembered what we wanted to do, like, I think that's a really fun idea. So, I'm excited to test this out. But let's go like this, we need more sticks. And then we need uh, some of these guys. Okay, guess uh, the angle didn't like being placed there. And then we can put a lantern right there, once we actually get a lantern. And then, like so. Perfect. I like it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the, uh, the stairs. These ones right here. And we're going to make kind of like a little roof around this. Just like so. Oops, okay. Grab this one. Because then it kind of like creates a little like notice board that's connected to our place. And we can just add everything. And I think it's really nice. And then we'll just move this. Oh, I already have one. Cool. We'll go like so. And I think I had some other things in here. Yes, I wanted these guys. So then let's bridge up here. We need something on the other side. Like that. Awesome. Okay, let's peel her way up. And then... Oh, funny. I guess I didn't place the right blocks. Oops, that's my bad. There we go. And we're going to go like so to just cover everything over. And then we're just uh, kind of adding some little pieces. There we go.
and I need to pick the lilies up. There we go. And then add in the lantern. There we are. Okay, perfect. We've got our little sign. Okay. And we gotta fix this side of it. There we go. Okay, awesome. Much, much better. And then I don't have any, like, well, I guess I have iron here. I just need to smelt it up. Let's swap this out. Go like so. Put our iron back. Put that back. And then uh, let's add in some chests. Now, I'm not really going to be able to open these because of, like, where they are. But I think it should still be, like, kind of helpful. Cool. Okay. Awesome. I wonder how this will look. If I just go, like, up like so. Just all the barrels. All of the storage space. Looking so good. I'm a big fan. Okay. Looking good. And I had flint and steel in here, didn't I? Yeah, let's light up. I bet that's why I had flint and steel on me. I was lighting my candles. Guarantee that's what it was. Don't set the house on fire. <laughs> Can you imagine how sad would that be if I'm just like trying to make something good and it doesn't end up working out okay well i don't need really any more iron but i'm gonna keep making it just because then we have it on hand all right so let's add in the lights on the back oh and we still need lots of trap doors over here perfect I love it all the way around looking good okay and then we have a torch in here but if I remove the torch this is the the ambient light we have I feel like putting a torch here or a lantern here is good yeah I think that's a good place to leave that as like completed and good I like it and then we're going to go around to get all of our little flower boxes. And we got to fix this. And then we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. We need ten more trap doors. Goodness. There's the trap doors add up pretty quick, don't they? Okay, you know, we're close, but we don't have all of the ones we need, but we're close. Oh, wrong block. Okay, looking good. So we need four. Okay, I like how this is coming along. And then we're going to add all of our rooted dirt, coarse dirt, all of that stuff. It'll be wonderful. I'm going to convert these bones to bone meal. There we go. Okay. Now, let's take all of this coarse dirt and stuff, and we're going to just redo our floor with some of these various blocks. I think it'll look really good, and I'm excited. But as far as, like, what the interior looks like, I think I wanted to add some additional, like, fence gates. I thought that that would look good. It's expensive, but I think it will be really nice to have. So, if 
I were to go like so, right? But like, we need more than just that. But that's the like idea that I have. And then we just need to have more sticks. Oh, I had 38 sticks, my goodness. I don't know how I missed having that many sticks, but I did. But I feel like that just like makes the roof look better. You know, like it makes it look a little different. Oh, we still need to fix that. Oh goodness. Okay. So many different distractions and things that I'm like, oh, I gotta fix this. Okay, now I gotta fix this. But I'm okay with it. You know, it, like it takes time. We figure it out. And then we go chop some trees, except I'm gonna chop the trees like further away because I realized I was just like grabbing the closest tree, but then like it's gonna look so sad with how little trees are by our area if I keep doing that. So I had to change my mind. Had to go for a little bit of a different approach. Oh, wow, here's another. Wow, there's lots of caves down here. Oh, hey, if I can get in this tree. That'll be great. Hee <laughs> hee, look at that. Getting the trees from the top so they can't cause crazy havoc for me. And leave multiple branches around. Love it. And I want to get this birch tree just because I use them for leaves, or I use them for sticks like I've mentioned before. I love how you see all the like fall leaves coming down. So cool. Okay. And back we go. Oh, and there goes the rain. It's a beautiful sunny day again. Nice. Okay, so I need to fix the other side. So we're going to do that right now because I have missed doing that like twice and I want to make sure I don't keep forgetting. <laughs> that would be awkward. And then we're going to add this on our sides here. Like so. And that just creates a little bit more just like it doesn't, it makes our walls not look as flat. That's like the big reason for doing this. And then if you want to make your walls look even less flat on the outside, I would recommend just adding in some of these slabs like that. And it just kind of makes it a little bit more dynamic. So easy thing to do. Of course, adding some like leaves and vines on the outside is super helpful as well. But that's one thing that I would recommend doing. So we can go like so, and then we have exactly three. So that's perfect. And look at that, it looks so good. But then we'll add these little dudes and it looks way, way better. So. I'm, I'm very happy with like little things like that, that like actually make like a huge difference. I'm like, it's just so great to like see that, you know? Okay, so next leaves, we're gonna put leaves on and I feel like the final touch is gonna be like clearing these little chests up and moving everything inside where we want it to be. That'll be kind of like one of the last steps. All of our valuable stuff will leave in here for now. All the other random things we'll leave uh, in this chest for now. But let's add all of the leaves that we can and want to. So go like this. And like so. And then we can hop on the roof. It's always nice when you're like right by a hill. So you can literally just like hop up on your roofs a lot easier. It's, it's honestly great. Okay, so. We're gonna do a little bit of leaves over here on this side. And often what I'll do is I'll have my ax as like my main tool. Cause a lot of times I'll like get rid of some of these so that I can fit the blocks in. Cause sometimes it just sticks out too much. So usually I end up just like, ch oops, chopping a little bit 
of the stairs to let it out. I guess I forgot about that one. But then we can go like that. And then let's see here. I kind of want to like keep this. I don't want it to go too far over. This went pretty far over. Um, so let's just go like so. And on the edge, there we go. Okay, sweet. Uh, I like it. And then we'll kind of like keep this a little bit more like over the over this section more so. Oh, okay, we fell. It's okay, we can get back up. There we go, okay. So let's fix this. And what I usually do with leaves as well is I double them up because I feel like a thicker vine and bunch of leaves looks better if you double it up. I think I'm gonna fix the ones on the other side, but we're just kind of stepping back, seeing what it looks like, seeing if we even like what we're doing so far. And then I'll oftentimes get rid of ones on the edge of things too. And I think that looks helpful and works really well. So then we can kind of like look at what we made and see where we wanna like add one. So we can go like so, except that looks kind of weird with this. How about now? Still kind of weird, let's get rid of this. And still kind of weird. So we'll get rid of these ones. Sometimes it like zooms in on my, when I'm like free camming a little bit funky, but I think this is like too far over. So I'm just going to take these ones real quick and grab them and move them a little bit more like central, just slightly. Okay, I grabbed, I think the only one I needed. And then right where these are, this is a little like too close here, but if we go like so, just like that. To me, this looks already like way better and I really like that. And then you can kind of just like make it overflow a little bit, but try to make sure it doesn't look too much. Like I really like that. So I'm keeping it just like this. And then we'll go on the other side and do more leaves. I feel like sometimes leaves is like such a simple thing, but if you're not doing it right, it just looks a little silly, you know? Cause this is like too far over. So like so. And then we can kind of go like that. And then we take a look from back further. See, I like it when I have the double. When it doesn't have the double, it looks a little, little different. So let's go like so. Oops, missed. We got to work on our, our jumping skills. We can't make it. Um, so this one had two, so let's make this one be two. And see if that's a little bit better. I think I don't like this here, but I'm probably gonna like this here better. Yeah, I like that. Perfect. Okay, and then let's do something over on this side of things. So for looking over here, something that comes like right here in curves would be good. So usually I'll even kind of like see like where I think think something could look good just like checking like oh what do i want to try and that usually helps me too so something like so go like that and then like so and then we can just round it over the edge here just a little something. Yeah, I like it. And then we're gonna do something on, I have to decide if I want it to go like right along here and then come over, but I think we're just gonna like run it right along here, right along that edge. So then we'll take this, we'll go like so. We're kind of like pulling it. I usually try to like keep them connected too. Like this is coming up and over on this way and we're gonna just continue it on the other side. But I don't want it to be like too close that it looks a little funky. So we do have to kind of like, oops, I keep on falling. 
We have to be careful with where we're moving things to. And... Okay, let's look at this. Oops, hello trees. I think this looks pretty good. I like that. And then from the other side... Free cam is literally like my favorite, favorite mod to add because it just helps with building so much to like get perspective, see what you think it's like. I love it so, so much. And then we're just gonna add some like leaves outside here, uh, just to kind of like be around. Just kind of like scattered a little bit. Yes, okay. And then we'll add some of the red leaves on the inside for some decor. And let's go like so. Like so. And what I want to do is like fix it so that you don't see everything. I want to just see like the brown of the spruce. That is like the goal. Like that. Then when I come down here and place that other one, you won't uh, see it, right? Like then that looks great. And then we can place this guy back down. and then go like so awesome actually we're going to put this back and I do think I'm gonna move this up a little bit I like that perfect oh interesting Kind of like see out the sky. That's kind of cool. I wonder if you can like see this through it. Oh, a little bit. I got some cool undertones. I'll take it. I uh, will take it. Cool. Okay. And then we can't really like place anything else on most of these shelves just because of where things are at. So we're going to take this little guy. And we're going to use a pot. And then place a pot right there. And we're going to take a little nap. I like how I got fishy business. Even though I uh, didn't actually get fishy business when I was making said little uh, fishing long play. We'll take another mushroom, add it into here. Like so. And... I think I still have the painting. Maybe I used it. Or did I move it? I didn't think I moved it. Did I use it? Oh yeah, it was the mushroom. You're right. You're right, Red. You were thinking. Okay. Well, I think I want to add some of these amethysts in just a little, little bit. I think it'll be kind of cool. And then we'll add them into our bedroom. We'll make our bedroom look a little magical. But I don't want it to be, like, too intrusive. You know, just, like, a few hints. The few hints of, like, mysticalness is what I'm, I'm really interested in doing. Just a little bit of hinting, you know? Like, just small things. Kind of to, like, make you think, like, what's... What are they, like... What do they got down there? What are they hiding? What is up? And then they can be a little guy there. Just adding a few little guys there, or here and there. Go like so. I don't want to use like the big ones. Kind of just like the small little ones. Yeah. And then maybe we'll put one like right here. So we can kind of like walk over them. Yeah. That's kind of fun. Okay. Because we're using blocks that we like found in the mines today, which to me I think is really fun at least. 
And then with these blocks of iron and some of the gold ones, and let's do redstone. Um, let's make some like piles. I wanted to have like piles of like gold be like around the area. And I think it'd be fun to do that. Let's go like so. Awesome, okay. And then we'll remove this trap door because then we can put some gold like that. So it looks like an actual mining outpost. And then let's put some of the iron ones like right in here. I think this will be good. We'll remove this one so we can put one right there. And then we're also gonna go around because we can't really fit through places here. Um, I also want the barrels. We're gonna move this and this because what I want to do is actually use some of this area here for barrels. Kind of just like a little like spot to store barrels and things as we're just collecting different resources. Just kind of like it's stacking up all of the different like things that we've been collecting. They're like stacked up, they're ready to go. Like that's kind of the, the, thing I, the thing I was thinking of and wanting to try for. I do like this though. And then if we have one more, there we go. I feel like having gold and the iron is probably the best. Like I think it'll look better. Uh, we just need to figure out what to do with the chests. But let's move all of our, like, diamonds and ores and everything um, into one of these barrels. Let's put them on the inside to keep them safe. So all the gems and things will go in here. So guys, if I'm ever looking for any things that are precious jewels and different things like that, this is where I have them. So you are free to remind me. I also love putting the block next to the, like, thing it came with. So we're gonna be a little funny about it but we're gonna break down some of these just so we can have some like so and then uh, let's grab some of the amethyst i think we can just grab everything else in this chest at least okay i lie not everything let's put the calcite -y stuff in there and the amethysty things i think that's great and then uh, we'll have a saddle out here, kind of like ready to go off on like adventures. I think that's a good idea. And then uh, let's just move some of like the lanterns and things in here as well. We can have like the glow ink just because we're going to like highlight the signs that we have with it. I think it's perfect. And then over here, we'll leave some of the like chests and things i think if we leave uh we'll leave some gravel we use leaves for pillaring blocks a lot we'll leave the iron bars but we're not gonna like have a whole lot in here to like start with i think we're gonna keep it pretty like bare minimum because we want to make sure we have lots of space for everything we're gonna be like adding with like all of the different ores i think i'm also gonna keep like stones down here so like any of this like deep slate stuff, I think deep slate is mainly gonna be what we store in here. So let's just start a deep slate chest. I feel like that would make sense. And these will be like the random like things, you know? Yeah, I think this is uh, coming along good, how we're like choosing to like set things up with, but I want to grab the coarse dirt and rooted dirt because I wanna scoop some of this out now. Let's close this. I'm trying to just like move some of these chests out of the way, but we'll just start doing a little bit of this now. And then we'll go like so. Okay, there we go. We've got some of the on the edges. I'm going to also move my shovel over here and then go like so. 
So I do wanna, we're gonna look at this with all of the little uh, like regular dirt blocks here. And then we're gonna see where we're gonna lead this out to. I feel like I have to go around this way. So we're gonna get rid of more of the sand so that I have normal dirt. Let's grab more dirt. I will gladly take more sand because that means we get more glass for things, which is always helpful. There we go. Okay, and then we will be able to kind of just create our own little like dock here for going over to the village and things, but for now we'll leave it here. Uh, just kind of like how this looks already and we won't try to like make it look different but we are gonna curve our path around this way and up over here because this is where we're gonna be going right this is the way to get to our house so we're kind of just doing a little bit of terraforming to make it easier to make it up so like so we go oh, perfect and I'm not gonna like make the path run all the way through I just want to like kind of have like a this is the way you should go to get back but since we're focused like here I think I do want to turn this into a pond later uh, we're just gonna focus on this path first so I do need to move these things so I think for now we're uh we're gonna do this just do a little bit of clicking around picking it all up slowly but surely yep just just like that yep fill up all of them okay I've got everything in here so let's go to this next one and we're just adding all the random things that were in here and there we go and I need to remember that if we need any like dirt certain blocks there's a bunch of stuff in these ones but I needed to just make space so I could like f look at this area with the path blocks all around, you know? And then we'll make a little path that leads like over to here so that we can do some, we're gonna make this all coarse dirt. So it looks like it's very like worn down, like we've been working over here, you know? That's kind of the, the vibe I want to be like communicated is like, They've been working here. It's very worn down path type of a thing, you know? So we go like so. And then let's do some coarse dirt like here. Like that. I like it. Okay. Yep. I'm liking it. And then we'll add some of this over here. More of the coarse dirt along the path edges. And we'll mix in some of the uh, rooted dirt as well. And we'll see how that looks. I like that. And then let's just add some coarse dirt over here. And then we'll mix in some of the root of dirt. Okay. I like that. We'll uh, get rid of that. I actually don't like seeing the green. There we go. Because so I feel like this makes it look way more like worn down. So I think I'm going with that. Yeah. And then we're going to add some more over here of the coarse dirt. Oh, there's a barrel. And then coarse dirt here. Let's do some... Oh, look at this. The, the moonlight is like making it look different. That's kind of cool. I never like noticed that before. We have like a moonlight shadow, which is pretty sweet. Let's put this here. Uh, 
Okay. And I think that that looks good. We'll just add something like right in here. Which I feel like coarse dirt is the answer. Perfect. I, I like this a lot. I think we're going to check if we have any vines back at our house. But I'm really liking this. This is great. Very cozy. I'm a fan. And we've got lights in here from the fireplace and the candles. It's a little bit mystical in here. I think really the last thing I want is vines. So that's our next little task. So we're going to move the dirt, grab our shears, and we're going to go looking for some vines. But I think this is so good. I'm loving it. It's very exciting. And then we're going to be able to work on a nice little like minecart system next time, which will also be super fun. Like I'm, I'm very excited for it, honestly. It'll be a, a great time. And I need to remember not to run this far over because of because of the ravine. I just keep running this so far over. I need to like not do that. <laughs> oh, it's too funny. We'll make a path. We'll make a path at some point. But for now, you know, we're just running around the same ravine, the same direction we always come from and just hop over the hills. It's, it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hi, Piggy. Hello. Let's pick up some of these. Mine as well. Some little flowers to add to our area. Let's like hop all the way up here. Let's do that first. And then we can move over to the side. Okay. Do, 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 do. Down we go. Oops. Oh, did not want to jump down that far. And then we're going to hop in the trees. I wonder if I can like hop in the trees all the way to the water. Yeah. Nice. Hi, squids. There's so many squids in here. Oh, look at the cape. It kind of like floats funny. It just like floats in the air. So funny. It just sticks out. That's hilarious. All right. Ooh, lily pads. There we go. Okay. I don't think I left any vines in here, but maybe they've gotten a little bit unruly. So we can just take some of you. Yes, we'll take some of you right there. You're a little unruly. I didn't want any growing on the sea. Ooh. Uh, that, that didn't happen. It's fine. Stepping on drip leaf too. Okay, I need more vines than just five. So we're still going to check our like little area. We're going to check our storage to see if I have any. And if I don't, we're going to see if we can shear any from different areas. Oh gosh, like, yeah, we're gonna take all of this. Don't mind if I do. This is perfect. Oh, oh gosh, oh, too much, too much, too much. Um, I will take this. Okay, well, 16 is definitely a lot more. That's amazing. I do want the glow berries. Those are gonna be great. Oh, I'm just shearing, flipping everything. That works for me. Okay, so we've got some glow berries. Let's check our little spot. Hello, my friend. Um, oh, I'm glad that we found those vines because we don't have any. But honestly, that's like okay with me. Um, let's just take some of these little guys. We don't have many flowers, unfortunately. That is a bit of a bummer, but we'll take more of the bone meal because then we can bone meal more glow berries. And I'm just checking in case I like put things in weird spots because I definitely forgot about this chest full of wood at one point, which, you know, that's uh, an important thing to remember. Okay. Oh, I definitely went too far over. And I think the glow berries, the vines, it'll just make our place look so, so good. I'm gonna love it. I just know it. I'm also shearing the glow berries as I find them because these are a little too un unruly. There we go. And they'll just grow back on their own or I could bone meal them again if I really want to, but I'm just gonna take them on my journey with me. Perfect. Okay. And we'll grab you. Awesome. Okay, awesome. We have a bunch of glow berries. We've got bone meal. We've got all the things that we're going to use and need. So this is perfect. 
and I'm gonna grab little flowers as I see them because I do have those planter boxes but I don't have much in the planter boxes you know so we need to change that so we're gonna look for flowers on our way over as we scale the hill we'll just see what we come across there's not always like a ton of flowers inside the dark forest, but hopefully since we're like crossing different biomes, I think there's actually like a me a high. I was going to say, I think there's a meadow up here. There we go. Let's grab some different flowers. Let's just spend a little time, take some flowers as some options for us. I think we're only going to get these ones, but yeah, this is definitely a meadow biome, which is nice. I like these little, what are they called? These are the, called the Azure Bluettes. I think the little, like, bouquet they have and make is really cute. So we're definitely bringing those. We're bringing these blue ones, the cornflowers. We'll bring poppies as well. I like it. The dandelions are cute, and we can always, like, make bunnies be our friends if we find them. So that's wonderful. Okay, so we've got flowers. We've got a variety. And now we just work our way down, hopefully don't fall in the ravine again. And then we get the decorating pieces. Oh, here's another ravine. Almost fell in a different ravine. Oh no, it's it's the same ravine. We're just over here. Oh, okay. Mm, yep, don't fall in. Okay, beautiful. We are safe. I just gotta wind my way through all of these. That is a tall oak tree. My goodness, okay. Ha, ah, I think, yes, okay. I saw this like giant group of the gravel and I was like, I think I'm getting close. Okay, yay, okay, so let's take our bone meal, go like so, and then we'll add a glowberry here and we'll light it up. We'll add a glowberry there, light that up. We'll add some glowberries here. We're gonna add some color in here as well with the flowers. Love it. Okay, so let's figure out what color we want in the middle. Let's put a blue one. I think that's very pretty. And then we're just adding in different bits of vines to our area to kind of just fill it in. And then uh, let's do another one of these little glowberries back here. And then we'll put some glowberries on the side. Let's put a glowberry like right there. And then we'll put some of these guys. Let's use yellow and then red. And then we'll do one of these little dudes. I think that'll be good. Actually, let's do blue. I feel like there's like way too much like white flowers. I want to do like every other or something with a little bit different. But I think this is good so far. I'm liking it. Yes, yes. So good. Okay. And then let's go like so. We'll move this. Okay. Just like that. Go like so. And then let's put a blue one here. Okay, just like that, perfect, looking good. Uh, okay, and then we've got some of these. Okay, so we've got those guys put around our area and let's just like decorate with some of them just to like get some color pops in here, you know, make it look a little bit nicer. I think it'll make our area just kind of like pop, you know, just add some color. It makes it a little bit more fun and enjoyable to have some colors around. At least I think color makes it look pretty. Like, look at that. Just like, it's like a cozy cottage one. I don't like having the same one right next to it. Just saying. So maybe we'll do, we'll do it over here. Even like the placement of these, like I want to be like looking nice and like specific. Okay, and then we'll add some, we'll do a white one, and then we'll add one of these ones in the back here. Okay, perfect. Let's take a look at this. Ooh, yeah. I like it. We've got our outdoor smelting area. I think this looks good. And we've got our little piles of gold, our little pile of iron. And I think this is, this is good. I'm happy with it. We've got a bunch of amethyst stuff. We've got extra barrels. 
but eventually we're gonna probably set up a little like minecart system like around here but underneath us straight down is that staircase where we found our diamonds but I think this is super cute. I kind of like how there's like different smokestacks going out, but it's still very like cottage core-y, right? Like we've got the mushrooms, the candles, a cozy fireplace. We've got a little doggo protecting all our goods. And boy, did we get goods today. We had like three stacks of diamonds before I used one to make a shovel. And I think this looked so cute. I love this like oven hood thing that's just absorbing all of the smoke i think that looks so so cute there's tons of storage this is gonna be for our like deep slate stones irons like all sorts of things we're gonna put in here and our bedroom is like a little bit mystical but also a little bit cottage core with the mushrooms and i think this is so cute and cozy i i really like it and I think as we get more of the vines growing, we're gonna just like add more vines inside the house. But this is what we got guys. And I think it is so, so cozy. So on that note, that is where we're going to wrap up this long play for today. I hope you've enjoyed hanging out with me for the duration of just us building this, getting all of those ores and things and making our area a little bit more cozy in our autumn world. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.